everyone. Welcome back to This Week Today. I'm your host, Chase Majerus. At This Week Today, we think that during this time of disruption, changes every other day, and uncertainty of what might be coming in real estate and mortgages, we wanted to bring trusted industry experts so that you can hear from them to help provide perspective, some key observations, and most importantly, accurate information to help guide you. Today, we have Sue Woodard in the studio with us. Well, I shouldn't say with us. She's actually virtually here with us. But Sue, welcome. Hey, thank you so much for having me, Chase. Of course, yeah. You're not really in the middle of the road, right? That's I just... wish I was in the middle of the road. You can see nobody's driving on it, so it'd be <laughs> safe. But, exactly. It's... No, no, it's true. No, It looks good, though. It looks good. Look, To be outside is probably very nice right now. Yes, I imagine it is. I hear. So. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> So, Sue, um, why don't you give us a quick little background on who you are, what you do um, for, for our yeah, audience? You got it. Well, I've been in, the, in and around the mortgage industry for actually 30 years. So um, it was kind of weird when I got to the point that I realized I'd lived more than half my life in the mortgage industry, which I love. So um, I actually started out as a uh, processor. I was an originator for years and years and just fell in love with the business. Wow. Um, and then over the years, I've had the opportunity to get involved on the vendor side and be able to work with and serve uh, many more lenders like you wonderful folks at Synergy One, right. um, as well as all your partners. And just, again, just a great opportunity on the vendor side, um, now being the chief customer officer at Total Expert. And uh, before I came here, I had to ask, like, is that a real title? Because it you know, it sounded so perfect for what I love. You know, I love working with our customers and, and really enabling you to do all the things you do. Um, and so I've been here at Total Expert for about two years and um, it's been a, been a happy ride. Wow, that's actually really interesting. You have such a unique perspective on like the whole loan process, having been through so many different jo job titles and now you can oh, apply yeah. that to, you're right, you're applying it to the customer, which is really interesting and cool. Yeah, absolutely. And everybody has a weird story on how they got into the business, right? I mean, oh, I actually right. got in. I was working at a credit union and we kept getting robbed. And finally, no. I was like, I got to find a different job. And the only job at a branch um, elsewhere was a mortgage processor. And that was how the journey began. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's crazy. I Yeah, I think uh, excitement is fun, uh, but that's that teeters into a new territory. So we're glad you're safe. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So actually, speaking of kind of crazy times, during these crazy times, what what's an interesting uh, opportunity that you're seeing right now uh, in the market? Yeah. You know, I, I would tell you one of the, the biggest opportunities that I see right now is what has happened over the last, you know, six or eight weeks here as we've all been on quarantine and work from home is that, um, you know, humanization of technology um, supporting the human connection has gotten forced. Right. Mm -hmm. So wherever people were at on their digital journey to, you know, utilize more technology and how they're reaching out to people, everybody's gotten the opportunity to immediately have to start using those things. Um, right. You think about, for example, just even what we're doing here now, right, where we're doing this digitally and um, digital eye contact is a really critical thing because although we're all exhausted at the end of the day of all of our Zoom videos, most of us are sitting on Zoom for eight to 10 hours a day. Right. Um, but making that eye contact, even sitting here now, you're so far away from me, but we're able to somewhat look into each other's eyes and you feel a different connection than if we were just doing this over the phone. Right. right. That's very true. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I think the, you know, some of the opportunities I see in that is that everyone who is so afraid to do video um, two months ago, everyone's gotten to do video. So now, true, right? yes. I mean, it's almost to a point where you feel a little insulted if somebody doesn't turn on their camera, right? <laughs> right. Well, what, are you, yes. what are you hiding from me? You know, turn on your camera so I can see you. Right, exactly. Um, so we've gotten that opportunity to do that. And so I, I think that, for example, is an opportunity. Um, video is the largest um, channel in terms of the connection that it makes with people. Um, and, you know, whether you're working with them already, trying to engage with them as a new referral partner, um, a new prospect to work with, video engages. So now right. we've all gotten over the hump. We all know what we look like on video and kind right. of gotten over it. Um, so I would say that's a huge opportunity. And, you know, the second thing I would say to that is it's an opportunity right now to really think about um, the experience that your customers are having with you mm -hmm. and being, uh, making sure that your messaging and your, your, building your relationships in a way that's contextual with where they are right now. Right. Um, you know, if we take a step back, you know, one of the beautiful things that we do in this, this um, industry, you know, in real estate and mortgage is we're helping people at generally a very critical and personal time in their life, right? When people buy a right. home, um, sometimes they have, um, 
you know, maybe somebody's gotten a new job, maybe somebody's gotten married, somebody's gotten divorced, maybe somebody's been born, maybe somebody's died, you know, I mean, they're all over the spectrum. And we get this, this honor of dealing with them um, and helping them as they're going through something personal in their life, right? right? So right now, when we think about the folks who are in our database, whether they are people that we've worked with in the past, maybe it, we don't know if it's a current opportunity, we got to be really aware of um, our messaging to them when we think about all of the people who have lost their jobs and it may not be, you know, the, the person that we're working with, but maybe a family member of theirs or a friend or their spouse in their home with them. Um, you know, maybe they've got people who have gotten ill, you know, I mean, there's just, there's so many things going on. You have to be really aware of taking a good hard look at your, your experience um, and making sure that your messaging is on point with right. what people are dealing with right now. Cause it's a very different set of things than we probably thought three months ago that we'd right. be talking to people about, you know, right now. No, it's very true. You actually brought it, bring up, just to sort of sur summarize that whole thing, bring up two really interesting points of getting comfortable in, or getting uncomfortable from the comfort of your own home using video, which I think is really funny. And, yes. and, and on the other side, when you actually take a deeper look at it, you're getting to really know the, the actual nature of what is a working customer relationship uh, yep. utilizing the technology that we have and uh, being able to sort of roll with the punches, if you will, um, especially yeah. with the given conditions. I think that's really interesting that one-two punch um, is really what can, is what can, geez, excuse me, is really what's going to make the difference uh, for yep. a lot of people right now. Yep. Um, yep. So, well, and I'll tell you, Chase, if a message is off point with someone right now, um, you can really lose a lot of trust with totally. your customers. I mean, every interaction that people have with you, you either build trust or it erodes trust. Right. And if you come out with a clinker marketing message or you call somebody and you're trying to sell them and shove something down their throat, when maybe it's somebody who's lost their job and you just need to hear and listen and try to think about how to, you know, resources you might be able to give them to help, um, you've got opportunities to really build relationship and trust or to really, um, really lose some. Right. No, it's very, it's very good point. So uh, now I'm curious to know how does Total Expert actually fit into this this whole greater equation of customer relationship management? <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, for for us, luckily, I, I feel like we we play right into this because I think that's a huge part of what we do is marrying mm -hmm. um, technology with that human connection, like we talked about, where right. you know, technology is not here to you know replace people; it's here to enable people. Um, to have um, to know when the right opportunities are to reach out and to automate, you know, some of those touch points. You know, one of the very unique things about our system are our journeys. And you think about, you know, your experience that a customer has with you and your brand. It is a journey, right? It's not yeah. every journey is a little different. I mean, and so you have to kind of be able to play around with that and make it unique to the person. Yeah, I, Hank, I want to. What is a journey? That sounds. I mean, like journey is synonymous with adventure and I like adventure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, let's, you know, I'll tell you just, you know, journeys are, you know, I guess I'd call it intelligent automation, meaning that, you know, a lot of marketing tends to be very linear. I'm going to drip these pieces on you 10 times, no matter if they're appropriate to you or not. And then totally. I'll stop at the end of 10 if you haven't responded. Right. And what a journey enables you to do is be, um, you know, be interactive. Like if, if, you know, depending on what the recipient of this, you know, the, the piece that maybe if it is an email, right. whether they open it might cause something different to happen. Or if they don't open it, maybe you get a text message saying, you know, hey, they still haven't opened it. Or maybe if they, you know, um, again, are, are um, not responsive or are responsive or they reach out to you, you can take all these different paths on this journey. So whether it's something that it's a might even be just a task that comes up to you to remind you mm -hmm. to, hey, make a phone call to this person. And by the way, here's their phone number. Um, you can send out videos. It's, you know, it makes it an interactive journey that becomes more and more relevant to the person based on the data that you're gaining as that journey is executing. So it truly makes it a journey. We could be on a road trip like this road that we're seeing and say, hey, look at that little side road. Chase, let's go off and explore that one because it looks cool. And then that might take you somewhere different. So um, that's that's the power of journeys and and one of the things that does make total expert so so relevant. Dang, that's really interesting and cool. And uh, I mean, utilize, especially utilizing technology in the way that actually makes sense is for a lot of people, even myself included. It's it's like oh my gosh, finally, it's not just something you can do, but something you probably should do. Yeah. 
That's awesome. So what what about so I'm sure there are people out here right now watching this and they're thinking what's what's the first thing I can do? And I guess that would be my question for you. What's the first thing that that, yeah. that they could do? Well, I would say there's a couple actions I would highly encourage people to take right now. Um, you know, so to go back to some of the things we talked about, um, highly encourage people to operationalize video, meaning that I know that right now probably everybody's like enough of the Zoom calls, <laughs> like I'm done with video. But think about as you go forward, what are the places where you can operationalize video to be a part of your normal everyday deal? Um, you know that we've got an integration with BombBomb. Bomb. You know, mm -hmm. that's a you know really great cost-effective way to be able to put video uh, messaging into campaigns, into an outreach to somebody if you just want to leave a one-off message. Um, so just whatever your video strategy looks like, think about what that strategy is after, you know, after quarantine and work from home life is over. Don't right. lose the fact that you've gotten over um, being on camera and you're comfortable with it. So operationalize that. Totally. Um, the second thing would be to really audit your experience. And so really audit what your customer experience is. And I don't just mean whatever marketing that you do or don't have going out or whatever touch points, but the whole experience with you. Um, really take this time to audit it, make mm -hmm. sure that your, um, you know, your messaging and your website and what you're doing on social is um, it's on point with what's happening right now. Totally. And that you haven't perhaps let automation carry it away into some messaging that doesn't perhaps make sense um, anymore. So Could not agree you know, more. That experience. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think the last thing is I would say it's a, it's a time um, in the mortgage industry to really focus on your referral partners. Um, you know, there's been a lot of refinancing activity and those tend to be the times, again, I was an originator a very long time. So I know, um, you know, you tend to kind of suddenly accidentally lose a little focus mm -hmm. on your referral partners. And so what, what are you doing to build value, um, with those relationships that you have that really, that's, that's your future, you know, those relationships and those partnerships. Um, so what are the valuable items that you can bring to them, you know, utilizing, is there technology tools, you know, like what we have inside of Total Expert that you can bring to those partners and co-market totally. with them and do single property sites and, you know, some of the things that that they need to, to build their business. There's no other way to build a great um, relationship than thinking about what are their pain points and how can I help, um, how can I help them? Not mm -hmm. about, you know, how can they help me, but what is it that I can do for them right now? And it's, it's a time to keep focus on those realtors and those referral partners and make sure you're pouring value into those relationships. Totally, yeah. It seems like you're, you're basically saying that uh, outside of just the customer relationship to, to look at the just greater relationship with people in general right now, which is something I'm sure a lot of people are lacking right now given that we're on video only <laughs> these days. Yeah. So yeah, no, but that's you great. Know what? Chase, I have to tell you, interestingly, because we're all trapped in our house, isn't it true that the first five minutes of almost every conversation starts with, how's it going working from home? And that's um, true. And weirdly, weirdly, we're getting a much more intimate look into people's lives, it's right? So true. We're seeing their kids and their cats and their dogs and, you know, like their Corona beards and, you know, all the <laughs> yeah. things that are happening. Right? I had to shave so, before we filmed this. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And it's looking sharp. You Thank know, you. But, <laughs> but it's interesting that as, as a part as we are, we're oddly even closer because we're learning things that are more personal and developing um, more intimacy with our relationships. So, again, depending on when people are watching this, we probably still have some time. Right? Totally, yeah. So take advantage of that. If you're talking to people and you notice their crazy dog in the background, ask about it. Those yeah, are the totally. things that, that bond you over time and really make those relationships last. No, that's great. I could not agree more with that, Sue. And, and so basically what we want to round out that whole conversation with is that Total Expert is helping loan officers right now not just maintain, maintain relationships with customers, but maintain relationships uh, throughout the industry right now and uh, you know we're, you guys are utilizing technology to do so and that's just the loan officer that that's the worker of the modern day and I think it's great that you guys are doing that well I appreciate it Chase thank you so much and thank you for having me on today of course yes thanks for joining us I, next time hopefully when things calm down you can actually be here in the studio with us yes that would be very <laughs> exciting next time next time exactly well have a great day all right you as well take good care